Hey everybody, Helen here. Welcome to the Shrimpy Miggy channel. Thanks so much for joining me. Let's get right into this. I wanted to talk about the connection between keto and hair loss. And first off, I just want to do a little disclaimer. Obviously, I am not a doctor. I am not a registered dietitian. I am not a nutritionist. I don't know all that much about nutrition at a sort of professional level. All I know is my own story and the lots and lots of stories that I've been reading from other people. As you know, if you follow me here on my channel, I talk a lot about hair loss and a lot about Rogaine and I've gone into a lot of detail explaining my experiences with those two things and so you're welcome to check those out. I'll be sure to link up some of those older videos that I've done so you can have a look. But I just wanted to talk specifically about the keto diet and hair loss and what I've been hearing and just my own experience with it. So let's start by backing up a little bit and talking about the keto diet itself. What is the keto diet? basics behind it is like you really cut down on carbs pretty much entirely and you really up the protein and the fat in your diet and so you're kind of going into a ketogenic state or you're trying to get your body into a ketogenic state which aids with weight loss lots of people swear by this they lose lots of weight you know they've reversed or so they say they've reversed different conditions that they might have like type 2 diabetes and stuff like that and so you hear a lot of good stuff about keto and a lot of people are on it right now. But let me tell you something that might change your mind about it, or maybe not. I mean, like I said, I'm not a doctor. Definitely discuss this diet and any other sort of thing with your healthcare practitioner or a registered dietitian, neither of which I am. Uh, but what I've heard, what I keep hearing about the keto diet and a little bit of what I've experienced myself is that it can contribute to hair loss. I keep seeing this in this Facebook group that I am part of, and I'll link up that link to the Facebook group for hair loss and thinning hair and I've seen a number of times and a number of people chiming in that they have lost hair on the keto diet and I don't mean a little bit of hair I mean that like it sort of was the, precip pre the precipitating factor for their hair to fall out and so I was kind of surprised when I read that but not entirely surprised because for those of you who got, have gone on the keto diet it is a shock to the system I know I'm not making that up because I have tried it myself in the past and I had to stop like I cannot do keto I had done low carb and I've given up doing low carb eating in any kind of restrictive dieting as you'll know if you've seen some of the intuitive eating videos that I've done talking about my journey to sort of eating whatever I want not restricting what I eat but prior to that I've been like a lifelong pretty much low carb dieter and I found that that stopped working and so what happened was that I escalated to keto thinking okay the low carbs not doing anything I'm just gonna stop eating all carbs and just try and up my fat and up my protein and I could not do it I cannot do it I will not do the keto diet but just I think in that short time I mean I've spoken about my hair loss before and I'm pretty sure it's a medication that I'm on but I'm pretty sure the keto diet that I was trying at that time might have exacerbated it. I don't know for sure, but for those of you who follow me here, know that about a year ago I lost a ton of hair. I developed a bald spot, my hair got really thin. So that's all very well documented. I won't like drag you through all the before and after photos, but luckily with the help of Rogaine, my hair's pretty much really gotten a lot of its fullness and coverage back and the bald spot is gone, but I'm almost wondering now if keto had something to do with it. I keep seeing this again and again and you know I think it's kind of I know that people want to feel good with weight loss I don't want to be a pro weight loss person because I like to accept people as they are and I don't think that it will make you better happier whatever if you lose weight I think probably in life because diets fail usually right I think probably in life your best bet is to just sort of accept your body as it is because I think a lot of diet culture and dieting has to do with you trying to get to a body shape or size at least in my case that is never gonna you're never gonna be that shape or size a lot of us want to have this maybe like a really slender and willowy physique in my case and that will not happen because that's not how I'm built I'm not tall I'll never be tall nor am I super short that's not gonna happen either like I am the height that I am and I am kind of the body shape that I am and I could lose some weight and I have lost weight before sort of unintentionally at one point in my life I got really thin when I was going through a lot of family stress and my body shape actually was pretty much the same it was just a sl like a slimmer version but I didn't magically become like very um, like a bikini model or anything like that I'd like sort of look like myself of course who else would I look like right so I'm totally not pro diet I'm totally not 
pro keto. I know it works for lots of people and they swear by it, but I just want to caution you that if you do, it is possible you could lose your hair because like I said, I am not a doctor, but I have seen this so many times on Facebook, this Facebook group that I belong to, that I feel like I can't ignore that there could be a connection there. So definitely if that's something you're concerned about, speak to your healthcare practitioner about it and see if there might be anything to that. Um, and if you have suffered from a lot of hair loss, you know, I don't know for sure that your diet has something to do with it, but it could be a contributing factor to think about. So yeah, those are my thoughts on keto, weight loss, and hair loss and how they might be related. And so what I just wanna talk about now briefly is my own journey to being low carb and just stopping. You know, I've been a long time low carb eater. And so, meaning sort of semi-Atkins, not exactly, but pretty close. Like if there was anything kind of like white rice or like French fries, I would never, not never, but if I was trying to lose weight, I wouldn't eat them. So what I would do typically is I'd have like, I'd give myself like a range of amount of, this is so ridiculous now recalling this, right? I would give myself a sort of a range of like pounds that I could gain. So if I gained like a couple pounds, then I'd be like, oh, okay, I gained a few pounds. Now it's time to cut down all the white carbs and I wouldn't eat any of those. And that's when I would do a sort of Atkins like diet. And I never found that too harsh or too punishing, but let me tell you, I went through early menopause and that just completely stopped working for me. And that's when I escalated and I'm like, okay, if that wasn't gonna work, then I'm gonna try the keto. So I escalated to keto and then I didn't know if it was a combination of factors in medicine, but like I think now looking back, it could have been a contributing factor to my hair falling out. And when I say falling out, it really thins and I had this big bald spot here, which I've had to refill with Rogaine. And since then, and I found just the whole experience of doing keto just so utterly miserable that I completely, and I was cheating anyway, like crazy. Like I just couldn't do it. I was just either getting a headache, the keto flu, they call it. I was either getting a headache from just being so strict or just like kind of binge eating, which is gross as well when you think about it. So I gave it up. I won't do keto ever again. And I think it might be tied to hair loss. So if that's happening to you, my thought is just maybe that they're related. And um, yeah, that's really what I wanted to say about that. Thanks so much everyone for joining me. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and please leave me a comment. Let me know if you've experienced any hair loss related to keto. I know there are a lot of pro keto people out there, so mm, don't hate on me. I am just saying what I have been observing. Um, you know, you're welcome to follow any kind of diet that you like. I follow intuitive eating. Be sure to check out my links for that as well if you wanna learn a bit more of what intuitive eating is all about. All right, everyone, bye. Hey everyone, I just I just wanted to add that no actual hair was harmed in the making of this video. This is just some extra hair I have from some extensions that I made. <laughs> this isn't actually the hair that fell out during keto, but I just wanted to show you, ah, hair loss. Mm.